this is not an unboxing because as you can see everything's outside the box so I want to start vlogging here so I decide to go with what everybody on the internet says is the uh, the best quality for film the best quality for sound uh, mobility and everything inside that so I decide to go out and listen to what everybody said on the internet typically don't listen to people say on the internet uh, but in this case I did and you're probably looking at the same thing that I'm doing here so I'm going to show you everything that I got to start vlogging oh wow hello how are you how are you today you good you want to see the setup okay well let's get started first let's start with the GoPro now this is the GoPro Hero 5 Black uh, you can pick this up Apple Store Walmart Best Buy wherever 400 bucks if you have tax in your state then whatever your tax is if not you're lucky I had to pay tax uh, inside this box it comes with a charger it comes with this little housing right here and one of the little slidey things for the for the GoPro um, another thing you need for the GoPro is the external hookup here inside this box is this is the only thing that comes in the box that thing costs about 49 bucks um, depending on where you get it you might be able to get it a dollar or two cheaper but they're all going to come around 40 49 50 bucks um, and unlike the old GoPros you were able to actually use like a little five dollar hookup uh, this one all of the GoPro Hero 5 blacks you have to use this hookup here it's kind of bulky just by looking at it here um, within the tripod I got the GoPro tripod I was going to get one of the uh, what are they Joby tripods but I really didn't like the look of the blue and the red and the odd colors and stuff like that maybe later down the line but for now I just went with the GoPro one this costs about 20 bucks you can pick it up anywhere comes with the little GoPro tripod here a uh, little tripod hook up here and also a circle uh, you got a screw here for the little clicky thing of a bobber the internet tells me you have to buy one of these aluminum housings to stick the GoPro on top so I went on Amazon I got this for 18 bucks um, there's two different ones you can get you can get one as you can see here that has the opening where you can hook up the external mic and then there's ones that where it uh, it's it's only hollow out here there's like a little window and this is all covered up with aluminum uh, and you can't really hook up the external mic so if you're looking to get one of these make sure it has the opening here uh, inside here it came with the uh, lens cover um, it came with screws here to hook up the so you can put your external mic on top and it came with the screws down here so you can hook up your attachment your tripod whatever it is um, and it also came with this little doohickey thing here now the road video mic um, this is the one that they're saying is the best you can buy for vlogging um, inside the box you get the actual microphone here you get a cord which is stretchy uh, maybe stretch out a foot or so um, you get the holder for the microphone this is kind of flimsy plastic I wish it was a little harder uh, maybe even a metal piece but this is seems kind of flimsy we'll see how it goes and you get the windscreen for outside use looks kind of big kind of bulky we'll figure out how that feels out so you got to get an extra battery these cost 19 bucks um, if you can afford more then by all means get as many as possible now if you if you have one of the karma grips and it charges automatically then you probably won't need any of that but you really can't vlog with that anyway uh, 19 bucks this road video mic runs about 59 bucks this case 19 18 to 19 bucks this tripod 20 bucks the external mic 49 bucks and the main piece the keynote the GoPro that's 400 bucks tax not included with tax you're gonna spend even more so this is not a cheap thing so if you're really going to invest in this stuff uh, I don't I don't blame you You really want to do your research I did my research so we're all gonna put it together set it up let's start with the GoPro we're gonna put it in the housing here there's a little screw so we would make that's loose make sure that's loose and the GoPro just slides in right here but first you want to take the GoPro door off here where you can hook the external mic up 
here you just slide it out and it just pulls right out and then you can put it in your GoPro and I don't want to force it in there it just slides right in nice like that sits flush tighten this up a little bit uh, you don't want to be too tight you want to break anything just like that okay set that there now what we're going to do is we can put our road mic together here uh, if you notice on the mic here these are it's like a little indent here and I'm assuming that's what you use to hmm. that's how the how yep just like that that's how the housing goes it sits pretty tight on there but like I said this does feel a little flimsy so we'll see how that goes uh, we can put our big old fuzz ball on top and then on the back here you just want to hook it in there let it click set that there now we'll put this on the housing here you will need a screw um, one of the GoPro screws you can take the one that comes with the actual GoPro here uh, it's in my pocket actually should have set out and it just screws in there tighten it oh, no bend no no play in it if you tighten it good so just set that there we then will hook up our X Internal mic hookup here and it just goes right on the side right there like that now the loosen it up external mic sits right on top like this that in there and here is your vlogging setup this is what it looks like we have the GoPro tripod mount we have the aluminum I mean they sell there's so many sellers on Amazon of these aluminum things uh, so I'm not sure exactly the name it says polos but I highly you know I don't know probably an off-brand it was on prime so came quick um, we have our road video compact mic on top here this has yeah so you're probably not going to need it if you're going to be inside but when you're outside of course you're going to want to have it on there to stop the wind noise um, and this is as long as you keep this tight here it really doesn't have any play in it we'll turn the GoPro on take the cap off here and uh, I can see right now that the this is going to be an issue because you can see it right at the top here not an issue if you're going to take it off of course but at the top here if you don't want the fuzz in there we're gonna have to figure out a way to move that around now we're going to go to actually vlogging with the actual GoPro uh, we'll go outside I kind of live off the main road here so we'll get some cars driving by I'll talk we'll see how the sound is for the for the road bike how the GoPro video quality is it's, it's going to be good but we'll show you that so let's get going so here we are outside it's a different day and as I said yesterday we're going to get some of the wind and all the other things which I did do yesterday but me being the amateur noob that I am I didn't click the cord into the road mic all the way so I walked around the whole block walked the dog and I got absolutely no audio at all. Fix that problem for today. There's another couple things that I did. The GoPro tripod that I had, when I walked around the block, I didn't like it at all. Uh, it was too plasticky. It kept bending back and forth. It really didn't give me stabilization at all. So I took that back to Best Buy and I got their Insignia 6 inch tripod, which I will show you. Um, I had to take off the bottom piece here, the two screws there, and it just went right in almost like a tripod mount, uh, like a traditional tripod mount that is. So no play, no movement here. 
Another thing is I found out that the windscreen for the actual Rode mic here, uh, there's actually like a rubber piece around it and it actually pushes back and stays in place. Uh, yesterday I thought it just was going to keep falling back and forth. However, that's not the case at all. I should always have thought that uh, Rode was a little bit smarter than I was. As right now, I'm filming with the GoPro. I'm using the Rode mic. Uh, I have the tripod thing here. Uh, so you're actually seeing actual quality of the finished product and it all set up. The good thing about the Xenia tripod is that it's about five bucks cheaper than the GoPro. So when I took it back, I actually got five bucks back, which is pretty good. And it actually has some, uh, like some, it's like it's meant to be held in your hand, unlike the GoPro was. Uh, you live and you learn, uh, but I like this one so far. We'll see how it goes. So I had the window down and I'm driving, as you can see. One hand on the steering wheel, looking straight forward here, seat belt all tight. So this is the sound quality with the windscreen on here. Uh, like I said earlier that the plastic piece that holds the actual bike is very flimsy and it's kind of just dangling back and forth. So if you're looking for it to be stable, you're not getting it. Now we have the window up. We still have the windscreen on here. Uh, I'm sure the sound's probably a lot better than what we're going to get with the window down. But just examples. I'm at got to a stoplight and I pulled the actual windscreen off so now the windscreen's off and I have the window down I wonder how much sound it's actually picking up if you can hear my voice more or if you're hearing more wind noise but this is without the windscreen on the bike now we have the window up I wonder if it's picking up the outside road noise or if it's picking up my voice. But this is with the window up without the windscreen on. Next red light I get to, I will put the windscreen back on because I don't feel like holding it. This is the setup for the vlog with the GoPro Hero 5, the Rode Compact Video Mic. Um, overall, I think it's pretty good so far. I like this Insignia six inch tripod better than the GoPro. Still not a fan of the big bulky external mic hookup for the GoPro Hero 5, but I guess I'll just get used to it. Maybe they'll come out with something where it can hook on there and not dangle like it is here. Uh, but overall, this is everything. So subscribe, like, share, and uh, for future videos, vlogging videos, this is gonna be the setup and this is what I'm gonna be doing. So anything after this vlog wise, it's coming out of this setup right here. So until next time, people, keep it real.